Hey guys, what's up? It's q 2 for you here, here today with the gameplay commentary, and today I am playing Grand Theft Auto Online with some of my friends, and we decided to do this mission. I believe it's by Lester. It is called Base Invaders. It's a very fun mission to play. I just got a little confused going up. But uh, first off, you're going to go to sh the military base. You want to go to uh, Trevor's Airfield first. We were already there because we had failed multiple times while doing this, but this is our one time we actually succeeded. And let's see. So you're going to, uh, it's going to take you a little while to get there, as you see. And then, <laughs> and then my friend tried to, like, creep us all out and kind of, like, scare us a little bit. So he decided to fly like this, which is very annoying, by the way. But yeah, I thought that was really, really weird. And yeah, it's like what you have to do in the mission in story mode, where you go down on a plane and everything. It's very fun. I finally finished story mode, by the way. I chose uh, C Death Wish. So I may do a. Well, I can't do a video on it, I don't think. Maybe I can redo Death Wish. I thought it would be pretty cool in a, uh, that camera mode. That will just look cool. Since he was just driving and I'm just the one watching while he does it. And let's see. First, somebody's going to go into the base, which I th he lands the plane perfectly in the base. Weird thing is you don't get four stars in this mission, so uh let's destroy the lasers. So those are the little jets that you find if you've ever gone to the military base. I probably had a few that I saw in my military base video, which you guys can see. It'll be at the end of the video. And it was a very it it was a very cool video. But yeah. So this is what I decided to do. I'm like, it's gonna take a while since nobody had like grenades or something that's something you might want to get before you try doing the mission while you're in the lobby since you can buy stuff but if you decide not to you can always do this method you're gonna steal one of the lasers that you don't have to destroy and this one's a little bit harder so then you're gonna start shooting at it hopefully you don't miss as much this is one of the really really fun parts of the mission if you do it like this it's just like ha 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 and you use the lasers or whatever and use the missiles to destroy them and that was the annoying part when that guy started running and I thought it was locked onto the thing and then you just like it just starts blowing up everything although sadly you may uh... die <laughs> while doing it from the military coming after you and also you may get a little uh... unbalanced on your thing on your uh laser because uh, it's going so fast because it is a fast vehicle even on land like I I think I like almost lose control a few times I lose control and let's see you yeah this is one of the easier methods of doing it because you go around with kinda like a tank like uh, machine but it's not really a tank it's a jet and it's really good if you're doing it like by yourself. I think it's a two-person mission. Do it if you're doing it with somebody else. Somebody else will go after the guards, and you'll do it. And then if you're doing four people to six people in the mission, you'll get all those other people to help get rid of the other people and kind of guard you, in a way. But yeah, that w this was the annoying part. I almost got the last one. No, I did get the last one. Steal the cargo, Bob. And then everyone went at me and shot me and killed me. Yeah. So, if you were smart like I should have been, knowing that some people were going to lose some lives, uh, you should always go after it. But there was a guy right beside the cargo bob, so it's all good. And then this is a level 70 that randomly... No, that's that's my friend Assassin. Okay. My friend Assassin, he just holds up the base right over there, and then... The other guys in the cargo bob helping out. Assassin, my new friend, are helping out. I'll call him X or whatever. And the pimp, whatever. He's in the pimp crew or whatever. And then there's the level 70. It's interesting to watch every once in a while. And then he leaves. 
or dies, he died. Yep. I don't remember what he was doing. I thought he left the game, but he actually just died, and that kind of went over me while I was playing. So I was like, oh, I guess he quit. Uh, he didn't do that much anyway. But yeah, if you're doing it with four people like I did, you're definitely going to want to get some some more like people to help you. You want at least four. I'd say giving getting the limit. Also, it's fun to do it if you have... It, it's better if you have four that are actually your friends that are in your party. Instead of having random people join. But also, random people do help, so... It's always a thing. Okay. And then, if you have problems landing it, like we seem to have, you'll always enjoy this part. We were so close to landing it a few times. And it was a complete failure. But yeah, so let's go down. I mean, it wasn't really a complete failure. I mean, we got pretty close. This one makes me mad. This landing does. Because we were, like, close. It just bothers me. Then we started gang attack after this, which is another video. But yeah, I'll do a gang attack in another video. And then we're just questioning, oh, why... Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? And it's like, oh, gotta move it over slightly, which is a little annoying. So we did that, and there you go. That's what happens when the marker when you don't hit the marker just right. It's just like yes, finally, and the mission's passed, and you get your 15 job points. And your fifteen thousand dollars. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and marry, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.